Want to win one of 10 iPads or up to $10,000? It's the 25th anniversary of .com, so tell us how .com has changed your life. Write your story at howdoyou.com and you could win. What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Pet My PC. Now, this is the show we try to teach you how to personalize, customize, trick out your PC, but above all, make it cool. And my God, talk about above all making it cool. We are doing that today. I've been saving up a while for this one, guys. We're going to be pimping that exterior, the PC case. Step into my office. Let's get started on that right now. But before we get to that, geez, I don't, I don't know, man. This is a little, okay. Uh, VeriSign, uh, they are uh, celebrating the 25 year anniversary of the dot com by uh, shelling out some hefty loot. Uh, you got a chance to win $10,000 or one of 10 iPads uh, if you go to howdoyou.com and share a story about how a dot com's changed your life. Uh, an example definitely of how a dot com's changed my life is uh, online banking. So my bank does uh, offer online banking and it's completely changed the way I pay my bills. Should say it actually helps me pay my bills now because getting stamps and envelopes always missed it so people were constantly knocking on my door. Definitely changed my life. So head over to howdoyou.com and share a story. Like I said, could you net you, could net you some serious loot. Uh, this is kind of ruining my close-up, Maddie. But it goes into our next pimp, though. So as you can see, I've got this big honking case in front of me. And it's not that bad looking. I mean, it's pretty easy on the eyes, but uh, boring. So uh, we're going to tell you how to fix that right now. So let's get this out of the way right now. Now, what I've done is I uh, finished reading. You guys know that I like my comic books. And what I just got through reading was the uh, Green Lantern Blackest Night series. And after finishing it, I was completely inspired to do this pimp on this, uh, on this desktop case. So uh, we're going to be doing a Green Lantern case. Now, the first thing we want to talk about is, um, is the stencils. Now, the stencils are a pretty important part because you want that Green Lantern symbol to come off and you want it to pop, right? So once you get the, uh, once you get the symbol or the image that you want to put on the side of the case, perfect size and the, the right image that you want, basically what I did, and I tried to use stuff that I have around the house, right, because I don't want to go out and spend a lot of money to do this. Um, so basically what I took is just a uh, plastic cutting board that you can see just a clear plastic cutting board uh, Probably even a placemat would probably do for you too But uh, if it's your parents placemats ask them first before you do it The next thing I did was just to take some painters tape and you'll see why in a second Basically put uh, strips of, uh, of tape going all the way across the the, uh, the cutting board And then what I did is I put my image on top of that Now what I did after that was just take an exacto knife and cut around it but you want to cut deep enough into it so that you're actually cutting into the tape as well. And that'll come into play in a second. Because once I do that, you know, once you, uh, once you cut all those out, you have a series of, uh, of your symbols that are going to look like this. But they're going to come across in your tape. So now you got that stencil just the way you want it. It's time to get on with that pimp. But before you do, there's a couple of things you want to take care of. Now, the first and foremost is if, you're, uh, if your computer case still has the guts in it, you definitely want to take all that out. So you want to take out the motherboard, the power supply, your hard drive. Um, your CD, DVD drive, basically anything in there that's electrical you want to take out so that you don't have to uh, worry too much about getting paint inside those components. The next thing you want to do is uh, the wires that actually come with the case themselves, which are also power cables as well, you want to kind of put tape around the, uh, the edge of those just to make sure no paint's going to bleed into the, uh, into the electrical components of those wires. Uh, another good thing to remember is to do it in a well-ventilated area as well. So if you can't do it outside, just do it in the garage. Just make sure you got lots of airflow going in. Uh, otherwise, you're going to have a better time than you thought. So now, once you've got your, uh, your painter's tape stencil, you're just going to take it and you're going to fix it to the side. Now, your painter's tape stencil is going to look like this, and you just pop it to the side of the case. Now, once it's on there and you've got your lines nice and straight, got it positioned exactly where you want it, time to take that, uh, that green spray paint and start going over the side of the case. And uh, basically what you do is you just want to go through and you go through several passes. Make sure you get a nice coat on there, uh, maybe three, four, five just going across. You just want to make sure that you get all that black out of there so you just don't see it, of it bleeding through. Just all should be that nice emerald green color. And uh, next you want to do is just uh, take a powder and wait for 20 minutes to half an hour because you want to let that green paint totally get dry before you do any sort of accent work whatsoever. And once that green paint is dry, what we did is we took out the uh, other aspects of my stencil that I made with the painter's tape. And uh, it's basically going to look like this. So the main part of the lantern is out, so all we have is sort of the outline of it. Now this was the basis of my, uh, of my white accent mark. So what I did is I took my painter's tape equivalent of this, put it on top of what I had already painted once it was dry, 
and then took another in the center because I wanted some white accents around the center of the lantern as well and we put those in and then you want to take your white spray paint and you can just go over all over that uh, that stencil and it's pretty sweet because you don't have to take uh, too much care with it because I made the stencil fairly big because I wanted to be able to spray and not get it everywhere right so once you do that then you're going to let your white paint dry and so you're going to give it another eh, 20 minutes to half an hour so you're looking at probably an hour tops uh, to get that one side and the front of it uh, completely painted and, and looking pent. So once we finished up painting, Maddie and I went out, uh, went out for a beer because that's really the only way to watch paint dry is if you get a little beer in you, it's a little more exciting that way. And then we took it over to the studio for the big reveal. And what we did, you want to make sure that when you take that, uh, that stencil off, once your paint's dry, you want to take that stencil off nice and slow because you don't want to take off uh, any paint around it. Otherwise, you're going to have to do some touch-up work, and you're probably going to have to do some of that anyway. So just be really careful when you're peeling that stencil off. So now after you take off that last stencil, time to see the magic of your work, right? So check this out, guys. So this is what we've got so far. And as you can see, right away, that stencil is popping, right? So the black, you can see, was actually the original color of the case, so that stencil did its job. And then the white around it was what I was talking about before with that extra stencil so you can do that accent. Now you can see I've got a little bit of cleanup here because the stencil idea was definitely a dry run, something I'm kind of making up as I go along. You might have a better solution, and if you do, definitely share it with me. But uh, basically, as you can see, all I'm going to have to do is clean some of this up again and clean up some of these lines, and this thing is going to be crisp. It's going to be awesome. You can also see on the front here, we also got uh, the front going on as well. So we got a nice little crisp green and black uh, motif going on here as well. So this is just the beginning, guys. I can't wait for you to see what we're going to be doing with this, uh, with this case in the next few episodes. You got to keep coming back and see what we're going to be doing. You're going to be so sorry if you miss it. Well, that's today's show, guys. Make sure you check out the show notes at butterscotch.com and hit me up at lucas at butterscotch.com because I want to see what kind of customized desktops you guys are doing. And uh, to be honest with you, I'd love to hear the stories of what inspired them to begin with. So hit me up at lucas at butterscotch.com. I'm Lucas. You guys keep it unique. See ya!